Hi guys, Tim in again. Right, my first go at a purely solid state device, one of my own designs. Um, as we've been speaking about on the forum, one charge battery, one normal or conventional current flow charging battery and true current flow charging battery. In other words, we're putting the charge into the negative side and on this battery we're putting the charge into the positive side. Have our two transistors, PNP, NPN, 2N3055 and the MJ2955. I've got two pots to give me a very wide range of adjustment. Um, just using standard SSG coil at the moment. Um, it's a little high on the trigger windings. You really only want about 5 to 8 ohms, that one's actually got 15. So, as we know on a normal SSG or solid state circuit, if we disconnect our charge to the positive charge battery, our neon will indeed come on. And also the one going to the negative of the other charge battery you'll see the neon on the other side comes on. So both of these batteries are charging off of this one battery. We only have the one coil. One side of the coil is going to the collector of this transistor and the other side of the coil is going to the collector of that transistor. So we're collecting both the positive and the negative side of the collapsing coil instead of just the positive. So at the moment, 25 milliamps in each battery. They are charging quite quick. Like I said, this is just a standard SSG coil. An air core would be much more efficient and better to use, I believe. I have tried the old microwave oven coil, works quite fine. Um, I've also tried this yucky old thing I made a long time ago and that works quite fine as well. I've also tried this one as well which also works quite fine. It does self-start straight up um, as soon as you connect it it will start going. It's done it with every coil I've tried so even with the pots turned right down it'll still start up by itself. So there you go guys I'll disconnect both the charge leads we can see both our neons going quite nice. Hook up the positive one, the NPN goes out, hook up the negative and the PNP one goes out. So she works a treat. I'll post the video and I'll post the schematic with it now that I know that it works well. And my next attempt will be to make up a similar circuit for an SSG pulse motor. Cheers guys.